Hello YouTube, Civilian Snowman here and today I'm reviewing Kick-Ass, the new film by Matthew Vaughan, starring Aaron Johnson, Chloe Moretz, Christopher mintz Plath, and Nicolas Cage. The plot follows a high school kid played by Aaron Johnson who decides to basically dress up as a superhero. Now he doesn't have any powers and this is what the film really hinges on, it's just these kind of normal people dressing up in costumes and going out to try and, you know, stop petty crime and stuff. So that's basically what he does. He um, uh, stops a, a gang attack, tries to save a, a cat as well, and eventually gets kind of um, caught up in a real, you know, underworld uh, run by Mark Strong, which is basically all this gangstery stuff going on, and that's where he meets um, Chloe Moretz, who plays Hit Girl, and Nicolas Cage, who plays Big Daddy. Those are the two superheroes trying to take down this mobster, and Aaron Johnson's character Kick-Ass kind of gets caught up in the middle of it. That's kind of the basic plot of the film. When I originally saw the trailers for this, I, I thought, yeah, that looks like it's going to be, you know, a giggle. It looks like it's going to be a bit of fun, a bit of kind of throwaway fun. But I was so, so shocked and surprised that it's so much more than that. This is a film that I think is legitimately good and not just kind of trashy entertainment. I, I think that everybody involved in the making of this really brings the Ray game to it, you know, all the actors and all the crew and everything, and especially Matthew Vaughan, the director. Um, I thought it was absolutely fantastic, and it's one that once it's out on Blu-ray, I will no doubt revisit again and again and again. Matthew Vaughan really doesn't pull any punches whatsoever in this film because um, while it is kind of an action uh, comedy, some of the violence in it is really kind of hard to watch. There's a, a torture scene at one point being broadcast live over the internet, and the violence with uh, Chloe Moretz's um, hit girl when she's just basically tearing up a room full of guys with like a weird kind of spear and a sword looking thing. It's really like viciously violent, but it's brilliant. You know, you expect it to kind of maybe tone it down a little bit, but it doesn't. Matthew Vaughan obviously just wants to make the film he wants to make. And I know that every studio turned it down when he was trying to get it greenlit, um, but he's really stuck to his guns and he's made probably one of the best films of the year. I have to say that all the acting in this film is absolutely fantastic. Aaron Johnson's brilliant as Kick-Ass and you would not know um, that he's actually English in real life because he's got the American accent down to a fucking T. Uh, Chloe Moretz steals every scene she's in. She basically steals the film as the, uh, I think, 11-year-old hit girl. She's absolutely brilliant and she's obviously destined for uh, bigger and better things. She's good going to be one of these actresses to look out for in the future. I think that Christopher Mintz uh, Plass kind of brings um, that almost awkward uh, cockiness and confidence that he did with um, McLovin in Superbad. He brings it to the role of Red Mist and makes um, what could have been a boring character into a really fun character that you just enjoy watching. But um, the surprise of the film for me has to be Nicolas Cage. Now, I'm not one of those people who thinks that he's shit, but I do think that it's been a while since we've had a genuinely good performance from him. I mean, you compare his work in Face Off, which I think is brilliant, and I think he's brilliant in it, to his work in um, what, that f time thing, Next, or whatever it was called. You know, Nicolas Cage became kind of a cardboard cutout of his former self. I think his last great role and acting was in Adaptation. Uh, but in this film, he really kind of just, he's, he's back. <laughs> the quirky, cool Nicolas Cage from the mid-90s is back. He plays a character, Big Daddy, that looks like Batman. And he even kind of emulates Adam West's take on Batman, which is just so fun to watch. He, he really does uh, brilliantly in this. And I enjoyed every minute that he was on screen. So any Nicolas Cage haters out there, um, I, I think he's back. <laughs> he is brilliant in this. Everybody involved is obviously just having fun with their role. I mean, you look at Mark Strong playing the uh, mobster boss, and he's obviously just having fun with it, you know. Um, like when there's a scene where he has to scissor kick an 11 year old girl. Now, <laughs> it's the way he plays it, kind of completely straight, but with this like knowing glint in his eye that what he's doing is ridiculous. And it just adds this kind of layer of, um, of sarcasm to the film, almost. Uh, but it just feels so fun and kind of so organic to this um, almost real world universe that um, it really works well. And it makes the film just a completely 
and unique experience. I saw this film um, kind of at a, like a late night show in and went with a group of friends and it was really busy, you know, there was a big crowd watching it. Um, it had um, it had the crowd belly laughing and cheering and clapping and stuff. It was incredible. It is the sort of film you really want to see with a big crowd because everybody loved it, you know, everybody was laughing and everything. It was just incredible. It's been a while since I've been um, in a crowd with that kind of like energy because <laughs> usually and I don't know if this is just an English thing, people just sit there in like stone cold silence watching the film. Um, but yeah, this was, it was really fun to watch with a big crowd and I recommend that if you're going to watch it, go on a busy night because you'll probably enjoy it all the more to see it with a, like a room full of like 200 strangers because it's pretty incredible. Anyway, time to rate this film and I might actually surprise some of you with this rating because uh, of the type of film it is maybe, but I'm going to give it five stars. That's right, five fucking stars. It has been a long, long time since I've seen a film that is just this much fun. I mean, you know, I enjoyed watching this film so much I could watch it again, 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 again. You know, it was um, incredible. Like, all my friends loved it, everybody in the crowd loved it, we were all having a really good time with it. The acting's great, the the way it's directed, like I said, pulls no punches, so it's you don't just get that kind of popcorn escapism, you also get the kind of vicious violence of it as well, which is a nice kind of counterbalance. Really enjoyed it. It's, it's very, very well made, very well acted, everything like that. It's it's really good and it just looks and feels as well like a genuine superhero movie. It reminded me mainly of uh, the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man film, which isn't a bad thing because I love Spider-Man 1 and 2. Spider-Man 3 was shit, but 1 and 2 were awesome. So it just has that feel to it. It's a great night at the cinema. Go see it with a crowd. It's just a fantastic, fantastic film and I recommend it to everybody. So yeah, five stars from me. Definitely one of the best of the year. It'll probably be in my top five of the year come December. So let's see what happens with that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Uh, thanks for everybody who comments, rates and subscribes and all that stuff. Uh, this is Civilian Snowman signing out. I'll see you later. Bye.